Okay guys, so if you're a fan of uh, tiny things inside your pants, then this video is gonna really appeal to you guys. <laughs> because uh, today we have uh, uh, an iPhone mini, well, it's not really an iPhone, but we have a tiny, tiny phone here in our hands. And the company is called So Yes, which is already a, a terrible name for a tiny thing that's gonna go into your pants. Uh, but I mean, I, I try to read about this company. It, it's a Chinese company essentially, and uh, they're famous for making tiny phones. And it's not really gonna serve you any purpose, but yes, it is a full functioning phone and it looks exactly like an iPhone. On the back here, you can see that we have three gigs of RAM, which is not bad. And we also have 64 gigs of internal storage, which again, not bad for a phone that's really not gonna serve you any purpose apart from being cute. Um, and we do have the support of dual SIM because we do have two IMEI numbers here. So that kind of tells me that this does support dual SIM, which again is nice to know. Now let's go ahead and, and unbox this and see what we have. Uh, this is more of just a kind of a fun video. It's not really gonna serve any purpose or I'm not gonna recommend you to buy this unless you really want to. We have the booklet or, uh, <laughs> okay, we have the booklet here which, which holds a few things here. And uh, okay, <laughs> so we get a case. That's, one of the, that's funny, we, we get a tiny case here which immediately tells you that it's gonna be a really small phone. And surprisingly, we also get a protector, a screen protector. And I'm glad that they're including this because you're not gonna be able to find this anywhere else apart from the company itself. And we also have a USB-C charger. I think Apple needs to kind of get lessons from So Yes, because this phone apparently comes with a USB-C and the iPhone really doesn't. We have the original iPhone here, which I'm gonna uh, kind of compare and this is kind of modeled after the iPhone 12 Pro so uh, gladly I also have the iPhone 12 Pro in hand so we're gonna kind of compare them side by side. We now actually have uh, the phone itself which uh, which is tiny, a tiny little phone as compared to, to the iPhone over here. You can see exactly at the back um, the, the similarity of these of both these phones. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this protective cover that it comes with and uh, and kind of look at it in more detail. Okay, yeah, so um, again, you can see the camera cutout is exactly the same here on both of the devices. So we have a triple camera set up on the So Yes. And uh, the funny thing is that it just says a smartphone here. So <laughs> just, just the word smartphone, like no details, no company name. I mean, they could have put the, the company name at least here, but no, it just says smartphone. And then um, uh, uh, we were looking at the camera setup here. So you can see the exact same placement for both of the cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro and uh, this little phone here. Even the flash is at the exact same position. And it is a very thick, uh, piece of phone. I mean, it's, it's, it's very thick. I mean, comparing to the iPhone, I don't know if you guys, if you can see here, um, it's quite thick for, for even a small phone. Um, and uh, we have the SIM injector pin here. It doesn't come with a SIM injector pin, by the way. Uh, we have the volume rockers here, and then we have the power button here on the side, exactly again, like an iPhone. And we have the speakers and the USB-C port down here. So as I said, Apple may need to get lessons from So Yes because the iPhone obviously doesn't come with the USB-C, but this actually does. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and see uh, what it's like and just go through the, through the software. So it says welcome. Again, no branding whatsoever, nothing, just the word welcome here. And uh, I should mention that this is an Android phone. I think it supports Android 9, uh, which is, obviously a very old software, but Android 9, and it does have 4G connectivity here, um, in case you're wondering. So yes, you can use this for internet and whatever else you want. Okay, so now that the phone is on, you can see the menu here. Uh, we have the log button on the side and you swipe up to go to the actual menu, which is not really that responsive. The screen is not responsive at all. And this is a, I believe it's a three inch display. I think it's a, yeah, it's a three inch display. I don't think it's more than that. If you wanna use this as a daily phone, uh, just to have it on the side, uh, you can, it's a perfectly functioning phone. It's not just a gimmick, it's, it's actually a perfectly fine functioning phone. And I, I did see that there's Antutu here, so let's go ahead and see what that shows us. 
I don't know the processor. I tried looking for the details here. There's, there's no details on the processor here. Uh, um, um, I don't think we have even and uh, you know a Snapdragon or anything like that uh, in this phone. I highly, highly doubt that. Not even from MediaTek. Okay, so it's, it's apparently not working for some reason. As I said, the touch is really not responsive at all. Um, and <laughs> it, it just disappears. So every time I'm clicking on it, it just disappears. But I do see here that we do have the Play Store here. So obviously, with this being an Android, this will have uh, the, uh, the Play Store where you can sign in and you can download different softwares. So WhatsApp and different uh, softwares that you want. You also have uh, a few different apps like messaging, your camera. Let's check out the camera here. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> Okay, um, it's, it's passable. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the cameras that we see on tablets. So I, I, it's not terrible. I mean, it, it does the job. So if you want to take a quick picture, um, let's say of a document, then yeah, it's going to perfectly do the job for that. So let's say I want to just take a, yeah, I mean, it's okay. No, that's a really bad picture. <laughs> it's all blurry. Okay, let me take that again. Yeah, you have to have a really steady hand with this because it's 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 very shaky. Um, and uh, apart from that, um, nothing special about this. As I said, this is just a phone. Let me actually go ahead and put on the the protector, which is something that this phone came with. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> But I would use it without the protector because it has a nice feeling. So it's, uh, I don't know, I, th I don't think, yeah, this is actually made of glass, the back. And the sides, uh, they kind of do a really good job at mimicking that shiny stainless steel material. But you can tell that it's plastic and you can tell by different lighting that it's kind of warping. So you, it's, it's not really a good quality phone. I wouldn't really expect something, you know, a higher quality here. I mean, it, even the touch is not responsive. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a quick unboxing, just a quick little fun, different type of video that I wanted to do for you guys. And again, if, if you're excited about tiny things in your pocket, uh, you, can, you can buy this phone. Um, uh, there is an official website for the company, which is again called So Yes, so you can look at this phone there. Or it's also available on Amazon if you are looking to buy it. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this little phone. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.